Join us for a weekend of Polish food, Polish beer, here in the northern Polish city of Gdańsk. Gdansk is perfect for walking around. All of its major sites are located within 20 minute walk of each other. The city centre was rebuilt after World War II bombings and is now home to many brilliant shops and restaurants. Strolling along Long Market, you will see many shops selling trinkets and jewellery made from amber. The region is famous for the abundance of this ossified resin. Gdansk is primarily a port city, located right next to the Baltic Sea. If you fancy getting out on the water, you can take a trip on this cool looking pirate ship. Ports mean one thing, trade. And it's been happening here since the 13th century. Evidence of this is the crane. Imagine big wooden ships being loaded and unloaded before setting off on another expedition out into the Baltic. After all that walking, we took a break at Mandu. Here you can find many variations of the traditional pierogi. These dumplings can be filled with any number of things and are either boiled or baked. You can see them being made in the window. I wish I was that quick at making them. We tried a meat one with bacon bits and sour cream, salmon and dill, and pork and mushroom. All were totally delicious, and if you're in the city, we highly recommend dropping by to experience the friendly service and hearty food. You will leave feeling very satisfied indeed. Zlota Brahma, or Golden Gate, marks the entrance to the old town. It's only about a 10 minute walk from the main train station, Gdansk Glovny. Walking underneath the gate will take you onto Long Market, continuing all the way down to the canal waterways that lead off into the Baltic Sea. This area is currently undergoing gentrification. There are new hotels and apartment blocks springing up and it's gonna look great once finished. During our visit, we enjoyed the winter sun and gazing at the comings and goings on the water.
Completed in 1502, St. Mary's Basilica is the world's largest brick-built cathedral. The main hall is 105 metres long, large enough for 25,000 people. It's possible to climb the 409 steps to the top of the tower, first up a stone spiral staircase which takes you above the vaulted ceiling, then continuing via concrete steps before completing the climb via very steep steel steps. It took us about 15 minutes to reach the top and the 360 degree views were well worth the effort to get there. If you fancy giving it a go, tickets are 10 zloty. We decided to take a day trip to a small town called Malborg, famous for its castle. There are multiple daily trains from Gdansk Glovny train station. We purchased tickets from the cashier at the station and jumped on board. There are different classes and speed of train and as such have different prices. We boarded the first available train, so paid 11 zloty each to depart and 17 zloty to return. The Polish Train's website lists all the info and timetables. We'll put a link to the website in the video description. After about 50 minutes, you'll arrive at Malbuk Station. The castle ticket office is a 15 minute walk and easy to find. Included in the 29 Zloty entrance fee is an audio guide that provides detailed information as you tour the castle. It works on GPS, so knows which room you are in and tailors the commentary to suit. Malbork Castle is the largest castle in the world by land area. Its history is vast, dating back to the 13th century, so there's a lot to learn. The guide does a good job navigating you around as a lack of signs would make it hard without. We found the level of detail the guide provided to be good, sometimes too good. You'd have to have a deep interest to care about some of the info, but it's still worth coming here to experience what life would have been like for the Teutonic Knights, Polish Kings and Prussian Army, all of whom occupied the castle. World War II brought destruction. The castle was badly damaged, but by 2016, restoration was complete and the castle started a new chapter in its history. Once back in the city, we went to Central Craft Beer Hotel, which is right next to the main train station. With a fabulous on-site restaurant and brewery, 
this place is a one-stop shop for all your eating, drinking and sleeping needs. We tried the beer tasting board. Four beers came with paired food, perfect for the beer connoisseur. After a couple more beers, our weekend came to an end. Let us know if you enjoyed our video in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos. Until next time, happy travels from the Memory Seekers. Thank you.